You already know your website can get you more customers in the door, but do you know it could also save you a lot of time in your business? I'm gonna show you how, and we're starting right now. If you wanna transform your website into a customer or lead generation machine, I'll show you all my best tips, tactics, and secrets to get there fast. Let's dive in. Hey there, welcome. I'm Wes McDowell, web strategist for The Deep End. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, we do two a week here. So just go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so you never miss another video you need to succeed online. So I talk a lot on this channel about how to optimize your website to fill up your business with a steady stream of leads and customers, but that's not all your website can do for your business. It can also free up a lot of your time by automating certain things and speeding up certain processes so that you can focus on other parts of the business. And one of the best ways your website can free up time for you is by including all that necessary information on your website that you would otherwise have to manually answer in time-consuming phone calls or emails. Now, even if you think that being able to answer these questions personally is gonna result in more sales, you might be surprised to know that 90% of people that are coming to your site, they're not even gonna take the time to reach out and ask. They're just gonna back out of your site and go to try to find that same information on one of your competitor sites. So the first thing I want you to do to save some time and generate more interest is to include an FAQ page on your site, or at least a section dedicated to FAQs on your homepage or important landing pages. So just think of all the questions you get asked all the time and list all of them out. This will solidify you as the right choice for people who are a good fit and quickly weed out the people who aren't. And that actually segues perfectly into my next tip, which is include pricing information on your website. Now I recently did a whole video on all the many reasons why you should include pricing on your website. And if you wanna see that, just click right up here. You know, almost everybody going to your website is going to be looking for some kind of pricing information on what you charge. And what most businesses do, the mistake most of them make, is they wanna wall that information off and they wanna do it behind some kind of a contact form, like contact us for a quote, meaning they need to fill out that form, then someone from your business is going to get back to them with that pricing information. Uh, the problem with that is most customers are savvy to this and they know what you're doing. They know they're just gonna end up on kind of a high pressure sales call, so they won't even do it. Again, they'll just go to the next website, you know, probably your competitor to see what kind of pricing information they can find out there. And the other reason why this is actually a time saver for you to include your pricing info is that it basically allows your prospects to qualify themselves in or out on their own. And this is especially important if you're on the higher end of the pricing spectrum. You know, before I started including pricing information on the Deep Ends website, I'd get multiple calls per day from people who just couldn't afford to work with me. And the truth is I'd have a really hard time getting some of them off the phone because they would just want to talk at length about why they couldn't afford it. And as much as I would like to be able to talk to everybody out there, uh, I found that it was just taking time away from the time I could spend on my paying clients, which isn't fair to them, or to the health of my business. Okay, next up, this is one of my favorite time-saving tools because it eliminates that back and forth of scheduling a meeting. You know, in the past, you'd have potential clients fill out some kind of a form to request a consultation or an appointment. And then there'd be that back and forth of, uh, they would tell you what time works for them, but then that wouldn't really work for you. How about this time? And then there's a question of, oh, what time zone are you in? But thanks to online scheduling tools like Calendly, you can finally put an end to all that madness. Stop the insanity! It just allows people to pick out a time on your calendar of times that you've pre-specified as being available, by the way, and they book it then and there, and you're notified about the appointment, and it actually syncs with your online calendar, like if you have Google Calendar, it syncs with that both ways, so that if you have an event on your calendar already, Calendly won't let people book it during that time, and then once people do book an appointment, now that appointment goes on to your Google Calendar as well so that that time is blocked off. So if you've got a vacation, you put that on your calendar or a happy hour or something, uh, basically that time is no longer available for someone to make an appointment on. And then you can automate things even further by using the confirmation email that Calendly sends out. You can customize that. And what I would recommend is in that email, you'd wanna put uh, what they can expect out of the meeting, anything they need to prepare 
for the meeting, as well as any kind of, if you have a video or if you have any kind of extra materials that you want to send them in that email, just to get them more excited about it. And what I found is that results in a much more productive and streamlined meeting. So it can go a little faster because they know what to have prepared for and what to expect. And then by getting them a little more excited about the meeting, you'll find that that's going to cut down on the rate of no-shows you'll get. Because sometimes people will book an appointment, you'll call, and they won't answer. So do you can to raise that excitement level in that confirmation email, and you'll cut way down on that. But Calendly can do a lot more than just automate your appointments. They can also help you qualify which appointments you should even be taking or not. Whenever anybody schedules a consultation using Calendly, you can ask them a certain amount of questions while they're filling that out. And what I always recommend are one or two qualification questions. Like what's your budget or, you know, what are you trying to get out of this consultation? And depending on how the answer, you could kind of predetermine if it's going to be a good fit for you or not. And if it's not, you could politely decline the call, just letting them know that you've reviewed their goals and, and you're probably not the right business to help them with it. And if this sounds good and you want a detailed tutorial on how to set up Calendly on your own site, I've made a video about that. You can click right up here for that. Next, let's talk about a way you can automatically greet website visitors and proactively ask if there's anything you can help them with. And I'm talking about chatbots. You know, it's widely known that most people coming to your site for the first time, they're only researching, they're looking around, they're not ready to buy yet, and they're not ready to talk to you yet either. But those people are 60% more likely to engage with a chat feature than any other method, like calling you or emailing you. And while I actually don't recommend automating the entire chat process, I do think it's a great way to get the ball rolling. Now, there's a lot of free chat tools out there. I happen to use what's called Gist. Uh, just con just changed over from ConvertFox to Gist, and I, I really like it a lot. And you can set it up in two ways. You know, the first way would be to just have it in the bottom corner, and people have to click on it if they have a question. But I actually recommend being a little more proactive about it and greeting people when they get there and asking if there's anything that you can help them with. And if they don't answer, most of them won't respond. In that case, you don't have to do anything. If they do, you get notified and you can use your uh, smartphone or your desktop computer to respond back to them in real time. And for a complete tutorial on how to get that set up on your site, I've made a video for that as well. You can click right up here for that. Now, if you really wanna take full advantage of all the automation features that you can get with a tool like this, you can write out kind of prefabricated answers to common questions that'll be triggered by certain keywords. Like if someone were to use the word pricing or charge, you know, you may provide a link to your pricing page as an answer. But you know, unless you're getting a really high volume of traffic and you're being bombarded by chats left and right, I highly recommend that you transition the chat over to either yourself or to a human team member. Uh, once people start asking questions, people really can tell the difference and they appreciate that authenticity in your response. And I think you'll see a much better conversion rate and more customers in your business if you do it that way. And speaking of good customer service and building relationships with your prospects, that usually takes time. But there is a way to grow and scale the process so that you really only have to do the initial work once. Then you can put the entire sequence on autopilot over and over again for each new potential customer. You'll build trust and they'll start to remember you and your business and you may not even know it's happening. And I am of course talking about automated email sequences. Next to actually getting new customers, uh, the next best use of your website is actually to just take all those people that are researching their options and get them onto your email list. That way you can start giving them consistent, helpful content that's gonna really make you more memorable and make them think of you as the go-to guide that they wanna work with. And the way you do this can actually be extremely automated. You know, you just have to use your uh, email delivery system like MailChimp or what I recommend and what I use is called Drip. So here's how it works. You know, basically you offer something valuable as a freebie, like a PDF checklist or a video series, anything that really makes sense for your business and your audience in exchange for their email address. So then what happens with the automated email sequence is first you deliver what they registered for, either a one-off or a series, but it doesn't end there because then you wanna send them something new and valuable each and every week for as long as it takes them to make that decision. And you just need to figure out how long that is. You know, normally the higher the price point, the longer the sales process is. 
And when you're first putting this into place, you can go in real time. So you can create one new article, one new piece of content every week, you know, for call it four months. Let's say your sales cycle is four months. Um, so basically every week you're gonna do that. But then once you're done, you've been saving each of those emails and each of those pieces of content into an email sequence. So when you're done and each email is in that sequence, uh, every new subscriber you get will get all those emails in order regardless of when they sign up. So you basically do the work once and in the end you'll be able to stay in front of a growing number of prospects with no extra effort uh, beyond the original building of the campaign. And this is great because you're going to become the one they think of first uh, because of all the helpful content you've been giving them. And that you can absolutely close every email with a PS that basically is a soft sell telling them how to schedule a consultation with you or to even buy one of your products. And speaking of creating helpful content, I have a really easy way that once you create it, you can share it uh, in one step with all of your social networks. You can actually use a WordPress plugin like Social Media Auto Publish. Uh, basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna install the plugin customize it with your settings. And then whenever you publish a new article on your website, it's gonna automatically push it out to all the social networks that you set it up to. All right, so now it's time to hear from you and I wanna know which of these time savers are you excited to put into place on your own website? Or do you have any others that other uh, viewers might be interested in knowing about? If so, put it in the comments below. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them there also, and I will answer all of them that I can. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, just go ahead and click the circle icon right over here to subscribe. And if you're ready to step up your website to a more strategic one that's set to get you more customers or leads on autopilot, there are many different ways we can help. Just click this box right over here to see those different ways I can help you. All right, guys, Wes McDowell for The Deep End. I'll see you in our next video.